What's up, Internetpreneurs? This is John Collins Palmer from OnlineLibertyLifestyle.com. Yes, I know. I can see myself in the mirror. <laughs> Today, I'm going to give you a couple uh, tips on how you can break out of your comfort zone. Um, so, the first thing on my list is doing public speaking. Um, you know, public speaking is supposed to be like the number one fear that people have. You know, they're more afraid of that than death or, you know, peeing their pants in public or whatever. But, you know, public speaking really isn't that difficult if you truly become a master in one subject, an expert, you know? Anyone who loves something can just talk about it off the cuff for hours. You know, everybody has at least one thing that they're really, really into, or at least they're somewhat into a lot of other different things. So, if you were to really do some research and have a PowerPoint presentation um, on any subject, you could do a Toastmasters. You know, you could do public speaking. You could do anything. Um, you just gotta know what you're talking about and know a lot about it, and you won't freeze up because your brain will be so stuffed with it. So that's one way to break out of your comfort zone is to do public speaking or do an improv class or do something like that on a regular basis. You know, think about Russell Whitney and the IMFs. Um, I've been to two IMFs now, and his presentation was exactly the same, you know. He's got it memorized down word for word. Oh, it's all in his head, and he's the master at, the, at IMFs now. No big deal, can do him in his sleep. Um, the next one for uh, getting out of your comfort zone is to, uh, I guess, get rejected a lot. You know, try to get rejected. Um, maybe get some kind of part-time job where you're going to uh, get a lot of rejection. You know, Matt Lloyd himself uh, was a, got a job as a telemarketer, um, and he was getting paid purely off commissions. So the first couple of weeks, he had a rough time. You know, he had days where he didn't make any money at all. And uh, he just practiced in the lot, practiced in the car, um, on his way to and from work. Um, and, you know by the end of the month or two months in or whatever how long he did it you know, he was making good money like four hundred dollars plus per day just because he became an awesome salesman and he got tons of practice and it all came from being rejected on a daily basis you know he would just sit there in his cubicle with his headset on and uh, you know every 15 seconds another number would dial and he'd have to try and sell them something so he really became a good salesman and ultimately now a really good marketer. So um, you can do that. You can get a job that requires you to deal with a lot of rejection. I had a job um, at Promark once, which is this company that uh, takes political surveys. What we do, what they do is um, they uh, they get numbers from registered voters and have people call them, and they. We have to try and convince them to fill out this political survey. Sometimes, you know, they take anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes. Now, most people don't want to take the time to give their political info to someone over the phone. So, you know, I would probably call 250, 300 different numbers. Most of them wouldn't answer. A lot of the people would answer, but just not interested. So I dealt with a lot of rejection on a daily basis in that job. If I got like 9 or 10 surveys in, out of 250, that was a good day, and I was a, considered a top producer. So, dealing with rejection like that on a daily basis will uh, definitely uh, <laughs> strengthen you up and get you out of your comfort zone. Uh, I think I saw a YouTube video once where this guy did uh, like 100 days of rejection, where he would just go to like go up to random people every single day and ask them if he could have a hundred dollars. You know, most people are probably going to say no, and they're not going to just give $100 to a stranger. Um, so that's expected, I guess, but um, it, it was definitely uncomfortable for him. Um, so, yeah, you know, pretty sure far away to get rejected and to seek rejection. Um, and then I guess my final tip is to uh, find someone who you completely disagree with and talk with them, uh, debate them, do whatever it is you need to do, you know. If you're a Republican, find a Democrat. If you're a Christian, find an atheist. Um, if you're 
a die-hard employee, find someone of an entrepreneurial mindset, and uh, just kind of speak with them, um, you know, engage in civil uh, debate. Um, but the point is, you want to be around someone like this every now and again, because you want to challenge your own beliefs, and you want to challenge theirs, and in doing so, you're going to find that there's plenty of stuff that uh, you know, you're that you believe that you don't even know you believe and that's coming to light and so because you're having to defend your beliefs you're finding that um, you know some of your beliefs aren't surefire as you thought they were they're not as rock solid as you thought and uh, you really need to kind of question yourself and your own beliefs and figure out what it is that you believe um, and the only way to do that is to get outside of your comfort zone and you know talk with people that are that are of a completely different mindset than you are so, yeah, those are my tips. Public speaking, Toastmasters is a great way to uh, do that. Um, get rejected as much as you can. Um, and speak to people you disagree with. All of these things, I think, will do a great job of getting you outside of your comfort zone. Of course, there's tons of ways to do that because everybody has a different level of comfort. But uh, those are my three tips for you. So, uh, if you like those tips go ahead and like comment and subscribe uh, i'll see y'all in the comments till next time peace